thank y'all for coming back. So today, what we're gonna show you is how to make a pair of supplemented socks. We already printed out the transfer, so we're gonna show you the type of templates that we use, what we use to put the socks on, and how we press them from the time to the heat settings that we have on the top of the press. So stay tuned, guys. All right, so first, this is all the items that we're gonna be using to make the socks. These are our design templates that we had already designed and printed out. These are the socks that we're gonna use, and these are our sock templates that we put our socks on to make sure that we can get the full design over the whole sock. So we take our socks out of the pack. I normally put the pack to the side. This is how long the socks are. Slide the socks on the template like this. And I try to make sure I have the complete front and back on the socks. And I make this even. So this is what your sock template should look like. So you have to do them separately. So today we'll be pressing four pairs of socks. So I like to have multiple templates because it's real life hell if you only got one template and got 50 pairs of socks to do. So I make sure I take them out the package and keep the packages because after the socks are done, we're going to put them right back in there. So open your sock as such and you want to make sure you're putting it on a curved part of the template first because that's normally the shape of the bottom of the sock. And depending on if your design has a front and back, you need to know, remember the back of the sock, which design goes on the back. But since we, our design is double-sidedly the same, I don't have to pay attention to that. Bam. So now after doing this, our next process is gonna be moving over to the heat press. So now I have all my socks on my templates. You use four sheets for one pair. So two for the front and two for the back. So since I got two different pairs of socks here, I got two different templates. So I take my template like this and I make sure I line it up with the top. Make sure I got most of the design on there and that there's not gonna be no white. Your heat tape works magic make sure that it doesn't move because what happens if it moves when you let them press down it'll ghost and ghosting is like a double image you don't want that so let's just keep going i tape that at the top i'll tape a little bit more as i go so this is the second one so what i'm doing is here you see this image it's okay to cut some of it off i want to make sure it get as much as possible at the sock line Take my tape and tape it down. Make sure it's centered. And you always make sure you make your template sizes a little bit bigger than your actual area that you're gonna be using, just so you make sure you cover everything. Cause it'd be really tedious to try to make, if it was perfect, to try to make sure everything fits on that perfect. So now that we almost got these done, I'm gonna go back and take one side down just to make sure it doesn't shift. So now I have all my templates on here like this. I normally just pop a lot of tape like this, little small pieces, and go to the side. It doesn't matter which side, you can do both sides if you like, or just do top and bottom. But since I got half of my bottom hanging off the edge, I'm just gonna go down to one side. And this is really, you really need the tape for beginners. Most of the times I don't use the tape, but guys, since I'm gonna show y'all the correct way to do it, I'm gonna use the tape. So as you can see here, I have my heat pressed to 397 degrees and it's for 33 seconds. So we're just gonna take this here and we're gonna close it down and let the magic happen. So after the 33 seconds goes off, it's gonna beep. And once we beep, we'll be ready to roll the sock. So we're gonna teach y'all one of our techniques that we call enrolling. 
So to make sure that we get our artwork on the socks perfectly. So we got 16 more seconds left. I'm always very anxious when it comes to sublimation because I think it's like the coolest thing ever. It's like magic to me. Alrighty, so we are done. So now, we just take this up to see what happens. That looks beautiful, exactly how we want them to look. So now, one of the techniques I like to use, just so I normally take the papers that we already supplemented on and flip them over so I don't get none of the residue before, so I don't have to use more paper. So guys, this is our rolling technique because we have to do the back and I don't want a harsh line down the side. So what we do, you don't, if you don't roll, you'll have a line all the way around to separate the socks. So this is our rolling. Take the socks and it's kind of hard to see because it's basically mostly a white design. But what you're doing is you bring in some of the artwork in, as you can see on the back side. So when we press the socks, it's gonna look like it was the whole sock was printed out like that, real seamless. So I know you probably worry like what happens when the artwork hits the other side? Nothing, it's just gonna blend in perfect. I know some people may say this is tedious, but when you want your product to look store-bought, you'll take that extra mile to get it done. So guys, I'm just rolling just to make sure we have everything. Okay, so now I'm gonna go get my other papers that I need. For the back and we're just going to repeat the same thing so what i'm doing now so this side i'm not going to take and i'm just going to show you guys how i do it i'm really used to it now but guys if you want to make sure you don't have no mistakes take every time until you're absolutely comfortable with not taping because mistakes does happen I push mine in like such. And with me using no tape, I don't fastly go down. I go down slow to make sure that it doesn't shift. And then when it locks down, I push it down. So now we have another 33 seconds to go. And the reason why we do it for 33 seconds versus 30 is just so our, to make sure the colors pop out very, very vibrant because this texture on the socks is kind of, it's polyester, but it's not the silky polyester. And so you want to make sure the image get in there and get in there brightly. So we only got nine seconds left. All right, so we're all done. Let's see if I got any mistakes, guys. So what we do is now, as you see, there's no harsh lines, but when we take the socks off, there's no lines and the socks look perfect. So guys, generally let this cool down for at least 10 to 15 seconds, because it's very hot. So we have two pairs done. We're gonna go over and repeat the same steps. 
So guys, I'm just probably gonna speed through this just so I can show you.